Thanks for joining us tonight. Jackson County could have wind turbines in its future. The zoning board just wrapped up a meeting discussing the final draft of an ordinance. Dozens of residents came to that meeting raising concerns about those turbines. Maddie Franz shows us what the board is planning and why so many people oppose it. Over more than a year, the Jackson County Zoning Board has put together a wind turbine ordinance. It puts rules in place governing where wind projects can be built and what developers have to do to get a project done. Looked at some of the concerns that people have had and we've tried to incorporate what we would be believe would be a very good issue uh, to be covered in the ordinance. Monica McHugh is chair of the board. She says the ordinance addresses those concerns, including distance, wildlife impact, noise and cleanup. Part of our concern is to make sure these companies are will clean up uh, when something is damaged. But people in Jackson and neighboring Clinton counties are wary of turbine companies. They will repeatedly find your elderly when they are home alone. They may pressure them to sign an agreement on the spot. And when they sense resistance, they'll bring in the paid lobbyists. Michelle Broswell lives in Clinton County. Her neighbor signed an agreement to have turbines on his property. She says she doesn't want others to go through what her family has. When you have to sit down with your spouse to discuss if and when you will leave your dream farm, that's when this situation is very real. Others want stricter regulations than the ordinance proposes. Everybody's asking for a three mile setback from property lines. I wish to focus on the detrimental impact of environmental noise, audible and inaudible, such as turbine noise, which can and does cause adverse health effects. Ultimately, it will be up to the County Board of Supervisors whether the ordinance goes through or if it needs more revision. In Makokota, Maddie Franz, WQAD News 8. And Clinton County's current turbine ordinance was passed in 2009, but no turbine projects have been completed in the county. That's according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The Facebook group, by the way, opposing wind turbines in Jackson and Clinton counties has nearly 2,000 members.